I have one of these, but I also have one of these. And I like both of them quite a bit and I use them all the time, but why on earth would I need a third option? What's up everybody, I'm the Derek Frank and today I'm gonna be talking about an option for a stream deck or a loop deck that is significantly cheaper. Now, not only is this device cheaper, but it does have some options that those other two don't have that I think you're really gonna like. What I'm talking about today is the Fifine Ampligame D6 controller. Now, this is a stream controller almost identical to the stream deck. It's also very similar to my loop deck. This comes with 15 customized keys and software for editing, gaming, video work, office workflow, whatever you might use a stream deck for, this has it, but it's also coming in at under $80. A lot of times you can even get this on sale on Amazon for like $70. So for around half price of a stream deck, is it worth it? Now, I will start off with a few of the drawbacks. Since this isn't a big company like Elgato, it doesn't have nearly as many plugins. I will say in the amount of time that I've had it, I've put it through a lot of different tests, including while I was traveling, and I'll get more to that in a minute. But since I've had it, they've done several updates and they continue to add to their plugin store. Now, their plugin store is free, and it's really nice that they're adding stuff like Flight Simulator, because I do that when I'm gaming. It's really nice to have a Stream Deck type of thing when you're doing Flight Simulator, but also it has things like Photoshop, OBS, and all of those built-in controls so you don't have to program. Of course, just like the Stream Deck and the Loop Deck, you can also make your own hotkeys, which is what I do on both of those devices in order to edit for video. I love being able to have hotkey options, and so when I'm editing video and can just push the buttons and be done with it, it makes it a lot easier for me. It makes my editing faster, and honestly, I've gotten into a workflow that I depend on those devices. And that's where this one is quite a bit different. Now the loop deck has a feature that I really like, and that is that the USB cable is not permanently attached to it. The problem with the loop deck is that one, it's really expensive. And also it's pretty buggy and their software is not always the best. I've had a lot of times where I've had to uninstall the software, reinstall the software just to get basic functions again. Now I really like the loop deck because I like the knobs on it, but again, those are the drawbacks and the cost, of course. And then the stream deck is great. Everybody loves stream decks. There's not much bad that I can say about it, except the price is pretty high. But with the Fifine Ampligame D6, it has a port in the back, so you can use whatever USB-C cable you want. Now, you might ask, why does that matter? Well, one, on the Stream Deck, the cable is way too short and they don't like it when you plug it into an extender. That becomes a problem for me when I have my Stream Deck on my desk and it can barely reach my tower that I have rack mounted on my desk. That was one nice thing with the Loop Deck, having a longer cable. And before you say, well, hey, Derek, maybe the Loop Deck was a little bit glitchy because you were using the wrong cable. No, it also came with a longer cable. Now, here's where both of those devices really let me down, and that was traveling. The Loop Deck having the knobs on it was actually not that wonderful to travel with. I was really afraid that I was going to break it all the time. And then the Stream Deck, having the cable attached made it so, well, I was really worried that I'd pull the cable out or break the cable and it was also too long. So when I just wanted to set it next to my laptop when I was traveling, it gave me way too much cable. So not being able to choose the length of the cable was a problem for me. The Ampligame D6, I don't have that problem. I recently went on a trip and I took the D6 with me because I needed to get some editing and some other work done and I really needed the functions that that had. And it was great because I could just use a small USB-C cable. So you can see that I took it on the Brightline train with me and was editing. I took it on an airplane with me and I was even editing on a cruise ship. The last thing I want when I'm traveling and trying to edit is more bulk and more stuff hanging around. This thing 
really fix those problems because I was able to use a really short USB-C cable and then I could lift up my setup and kind of move it around as I needed in those spaces without having to get tangled up in the cables. Also able to unplug it and pack the cables away really nice and not have to worry that the cables were gonna break or that the knobs were gonna break because this one only has the key buttons. Basically, if you've ever used a Stream Deck or seen videos on a Stream Deck, it's identical. When you have their app, all you have to do is drag the icons that you want or the functions that you want over there and then tell it what you want it to do. So for example, when I'm using OBS, I just go to the OBS plugin and then I drag the things over. So as you can see, I've got my different scenes set up and then under those, I actually put different camera functions, but you can do anything you want. You can do audio, you can do different video sources, you can do different transitions, pretty much endless on what you can do. And since they have that plugin in the store, it makes it really quick and simple. You can also add extra pages. As of right now, I've been able to add unlimited pages, but I only use a couple at a time. On this page, I set a bunch of hotkeys for my editing softwares. So I use a couple different video editing softwares and one of them is DaVinci Resolve and then the other one is PowerDirector. PowerDirector is not a very popular editing software, but I really love it and I've been using it for a long time and I like a lot of the features that it has, plus I know it really well. So being able to set my own hotkeys on this device was essential. Again, I already did that on the Stream Deck, but this thing's half the price. As far as the feel of the buttons, it feels almost identical to a Stream Deck, but the buttons are actually just a little bit bigger, so you can see them a little bit better. Um, but as far as like the touch and the feel of them, they feel about the same as the Stream Deck. That's one thing that I really like because the Loop Deck doesn't have actual buttons. It's a touch screen and it gives like a haptic feedback. And I don't know. I, I'm a, I'm a gamer guy. I love the RGB and the clicky keyboard. So like when I push it, I actually want to feel the button move. And speaking of being the gamer guy with the RGB keyboards and all of the RGB that I have in here, if you can't tell, this thing has an RGB feature. So on the back, right next to the USB port is a button. And with that button, you can change the colors so you can make it full RGB mode, or you can do just about any of the primary colors. Now, is that a big deal? No, but does it look cool? Absolutely. It also kind of drew some cool attention while I was on the train. I had some people that were asking me like, what are you doing? Um, and then I you know, kindly told them to mind their own business. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> when they were asking me, I was able to show them what I was doing. And the guy was like, oh yeah, I've got a stream deck that I use on my computer, but I haven't seen one of those. Well, Five Fine is a smaller company, but they are growing really well. And it was really nice of them to send me this at no cost. I am not obligated to make this video. They didn't pay me for it. I actually reached out to them because we have a really good relationship and I really wanted to try this and compare it to the Stream Deck and the Loop Deck. So this isn't a sponsored video. So who is this good for? If you're pretty good at programming your own hotkeys and you're pretty savvy, this is definitely a great option for you. Of course, it's way cheaper than the other options. It's so, so much cheaper. I mean, half the price of the exact same style Stream Deck. And again, I like that USB um, is removable on this versus the one that's permanent. Where I see the drawbacks are they don't have nearly as many plugins as the Loop Deck and the Stream Deck. They are constantly adding plugins, which is great. But if you're really into the drag and drop and you don't want to program a lot of your own hotkeys, this does have a ton of different software that's already preset in their plugins, but it doesn't have everything yet. Now, when I first started researching this and before I got it, I did see some people saying that the software was a little bit buggy. Since I've gotten it, I haven't had one issue with it. I'm able to set up multiple different profiles. I was able to save those profiles and then export them to my laptop and to my big desktop computer. So no matter what I'm doing editing, I was able to keep the same profiles on the unit and I was able to keep my workflow the exact same and not have to rebuild everything. If you're interested in this, I do have affiliate links down below. Again, this is not a sponsored video, but it does help my channel if you use those affiliate links and I really appreciate it. Plus, this is a really great little unit. And if you're traveling like I was, this is definitely the better option. But also, if you need a backup device or a second device, this is your guy. 
So until next time, everybody, we'll see you later. Have a good one.